I hate it when a car model has so many variants to a point that you don't even know which variant to go for and why. But since you are here, let me make things easy for you. The Renault Kaiga comes with either a 1 liter natural aspirated engine or a 1 liter turbocharged one. Madness is buying an SUV with a 1 liter natural aspirated engine producing only 52 kilowatts of power and 96 newton meters of torque. Why would you buy an SUV that has less power than a 1.2 liter Picanto Street? or an entry-level Suzuki Swift. Before we get on to this review, please note that my opinion on cars is not the word of God, so it's up to you whether you take it or leave it. Also, there's no such a thing as a perfect car. Therefore, you should watch my videos with an open mind because if you consume too much of my content, no car will ever seem good enough for you. The key is to buy a car that will suit your needs, not a perfect car. The red design of the Suzuki Paleno is boring in my opinion, and there's a number of things I don't like about the car, but I still bought it because it is suitable for my needs. But as a up, today we're checking out the Renault Kaiga. Welcome to another video. In front, the Kaiga is not too different from a Quid. It is more like a Quid Pro Max, and for those who don't know, the Kaiga shares the same platform with the Nissan Magnite. So Kaiga and Magnite are basically twins because they have the same powertrain. Their only difference is the shell. After this review, I don't want to hear people saying, please review Nissan Magnite because that's exactly what I'm doing right now. Overall, the car looks nice. I can't complain about the exterior design. On the side, you only get nice alloy wheels on the turbocharged models and the natural aspirated Kaigas get plastic caps. You already know which model I would go for if I were to buy this car. There's some roof rails and a contrasting black roof on the more expensive models and with the entry level model, no black roof. At the back, one notable difference is the lack of a reverse camera in the low end model. The boot space is 405 liters and the car comes with a full size spare wheel as opposed to the tiny biscuits you get with some cars. If you're still not charmed by this car, wait until you see the interior. Ta-da! Over the interior. Red stitching on the steering wheel, red stitching on the gear lever and the seats. The manual variant of this car costs only 290,000 rands and honestly they tried sham. They lost it in the entry level model. Gidilo Mang Junachi. Batum. Here they removed everything that could possibly make you consider this car. Kamo, it only has a power output of 52 kilowatts and 96 newton meters of torque. These guys think we were born yesterday. In the top of the range model, you get a multifunction steering wheel, digital instrument cluster, and a touch multimedia system. The screen resolution is okay, but the system responsiveness is not impressive. There's a storage compartment under the center armrest with a sliding door for aesthetics, and in the entry level model, the sliding door is see column goes to shallow cam seal, but as pull up. At the back, there's some air vents with a 12 watt socket, no USB port. Space is not a problem at all and the seats are nice and comfortable. The nice thing about the Kaiga is that the top of the range model gets four airbags, while in other compact SUVs such as the Toyota Urban Cruiser and Nissan Magnite, you only get two airbags in all the models. The turbocharged Kaiga variants are powered by a one liter three cylinder engine with a power output of 74 kilowatts and 160 newton meters of torque, which is the exact same power you get with the Nissan Magnite. The claimed average fuel consumption is 5 liters per 100 kilometers for the manual derivative and 5.4 liters per 100 kilometers for the CVT. This car comes with a 5-year 150,000 kilometers warranty and a 3-year 45,000 kilometers service plan. I think the Kaiga Turbo Zen is the sweet spot in the Kaiga range and it costs 270,000 rands. So if you finance a 270,000 rand car for 5 years with no deposit and no balloon payment at the current prime lending rate of 8.25%, your monthly installment will be around 5,500. For this car, you are looking at an insurance premium of plus minus 1,500 if you are a new driver and that will take your monthly cost to 7,000. Add 2,000 for petrol and you'll be dropping around 9,000 rands every month for five years just to move from point A to B in a quid on high hills. Here's something interesting. In June 2022, the Kaiga was in the top three best-selling SUVs here in South Africa. Number one was the Toyota Urban Cruiser with 1,785 units sold. 
Number two was the Kaiga with 1,016 units. And number three was the VW T-Cross with 970 units. Kaiga outsold the T-Cross. Kamo the Suzuki is outselling the Polo Vivo. Toyota Starlet outsold Polo TSI. VW is going down. You are going down. My part ends here, so I'm not going to tell you what to do with your money. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel for more car content in Amazon's context.